playing with fate, not a moment too late. So in the whole world, nothing can get me down. Ooh, ooh. Give me a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a break. Cause I show me why. Give me a break. Yeah, yeah. I finally know where I belong. Papa's radio. That's the kind they used to have way back in the olden days. Did you have a radio like this? <laughs> I'm not that old, Joey. And it was a Phil Coke. The girls, if you step on, you're gonna ruin Grandpa's surprise. Why did he go to Poland for his vacation? Joey, it, it wasn't a vacation, honey. You see, Grandpapa was really very sad when Grandma Mildred passed away. Would you get off the bed? <laughs> you know, when most people get sad, they go to Las Vegas. But when Polish people need to be cheered up, they go to Warsaw. <laughs> Ta -da! I love it. The Polish Supremes. <laughs> the sales lady said these are authentic Polish peasant dresses. Made in Taiwan. <laughs> well, let me help you with that. Thanks. I can't wait to see Grandpa's face when he finds out we moved all his furniture into our house. Yeah, it was a terrific idea, Nell. One of your better ones. Oh, he's gonna be so excited and happy, I just know I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Joey, what are you doing under the sheet? Playing ghost. Anybody wanna play ghost? We don't have time to play right now, honey. <laughs> Would you look at these? I never knew Grandpa had such tacky taste. <laughs> Those are mine. Anybody want to play catch? Look, honey, if you're bored, why don't you go outside and watch the man install the new automatic sprinkler, huh? I did. Oh, that's nice. But he only speaks Spanish. Uh -huh. Oh, except when he brought the wrench on his foot. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> in Polish. I hope I remember the words. This is the first time I ever played the piano in Polish. <laughs> Just so you lost it up. Oh, honey, what's the Polish word for Grandpa again? Jadek. Right, Jadek. <laughs> We're home, everybody. Welcomed home in my native tongue. Oh, it would have been easier if been a native of Cleveland. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, we got the translation from Mr. Pinsky at the Polish delicatessen. Yeah, all we had to do was buy 20 pounds of sausages. Yeah, and if we don't eat them all, we can always hang them on the Christmas tree. That's what we did in Poland. <laughs> huh? We got a surprise for you. Yeah, well, I have a little... Something for all you guys, too. Oh, why don't you let that wait, huh, Pop? Why don't you Supremes take five? Go clean the room. Sing, oh, sing, sing, sing. Hello, Johnny. No, hello, Johnny. 
You know, it wasn't easy shopping for souvenirs in Poland. They didn't have any. <laughs> Just for you, Carl. Oh, thanks, Pop. I'll open it up after we show you your surprise. I'll save your surprise for later. You know, I, I really feel bushed. I think I'll go home and have a little gem crap. Oh, that means nap. I'm talking as if I was still in the old country. Grandpapa, why don't you take a little gym car upstairs? No, I think I'll sleep in my own house. I never got used to the beds in Warsaw. They were as hard as the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, I stayed with the Golchinskis, the Alashevskis, the Morovskis, and the Pulniks. Pop, we really ought to... <laughs> the Pulniks? Yeah, your second cousin Helga married Ignatz Pulnik. They had three gorgeous daughters. Three pretty Polish pullnicks. Perfect. <laughs> of course, it wasn't the same as being there with Mildred. I really miss your mother. She would have loved this trip. Seeing the countryside and the farms, the factories and the people. She got a big kick out of being Polish. <laughs> well, I better go home. Pop! Welcome home. What, 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 what do you mean? Oh, you, you'll see, you'll we see. We want to show you something. Show me. But yeah, well, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I just know I'm going to cry. Surprise! I'm going to cry. <laughs> What's this? Looks like my bed. That's my radio, my furniture. What is my house doing in your house? <laughs> well, Pop, we decided that you better come live with us, and so we moved you in. Well, before I live with you, I'll live with your mother. <laughs> Pop, Ma's dead. I know that. <laughs> I'd still rather live with her than live with you, you dumb scape. <laughs> I'll relax in the privacy of my own unfurnished home. Pop, <laughs> try to understand. What's to understand? You entered my home, you stole my private property. Some cop. Pop, we only wanted to surprise you. You want to surprise me, buy me a Rolls Royce. <laughs> I said surprise, not give you a heart attack. <laughs> Look, Pop, Ma's not around to take care of you anymore, and somebody has to. I can take care of myself. No, you can't. You're too old. Put him up. Put him up. I'll show you how to go on. Come on, I'll punch your lights out. If you hit me, Pop, I'm not going to like it. Stop, stop, stop it. Just stop it. Let me at him, Nell. I'll take him downtown. Then, Papa, one more word like that, and I'll deck you. Now, you know that she didn't mean to say you were too old. Yes, he did. He thinks I'm a doddering old goat. Well, I got news for you, you thief. You're the one who can't take care of himself. If it wasn't for Nell here, you'd be in the old policeman's home planning your next checker move. I don't have to take this. Chief, Chief. Grandpapa. It was not supposed to turn out like this. <laughs> supposed to be a sentimental moment between a father and son, like in the movie of the week. Sentimental moment with the cat burglar here. I was trying to give you a new life. Well, I haven't finished with the old one yet. Uh, I'll just leave these presents here. Go upstairs, pack my clothes. Then I'll send for the furniture tomorrow. Hop! Is your hearing aid on the fritz again? My hearing aid was never on the fritz. I just turn it off now and then. Why? Because 75% of what's said in the world isn't worth listening to. <laughs> and if he's doing the talking, you can lump it up another 25%. <laughs> Stubborn old goat. There is no way to talk to your father. <laughs> there is no way to talk to my father. Will you two listen? You sound Kids. Stay out of this. <laughs> He's the one who sounds like a kid. Blow it out your ear. <laughs> Blow it out your hearing.
Ringe, ey. the man installed the new automatic sprinkler system this morning. He sure did one hell of a job. Taking his own sweet time about packing. Ah, don't sit there. You'll get the sofa wet. <laughs> Chief, you can't let your father leave. He wants to go, let him go. No, don't sit there either. <laughs> well, where can I sit? Try the coffee table, it's bar top. <laughs> Chief, look, you got to give in a little. He's your father. Yeah, that's what bugs me. To think that I was begat from his loins. Here, have another loincloth. It's never been easy being his son. He's always been Mr. Charming, the life of the party. You probably won't believe this now, but he never thought I had a sense of humor. Imagine that. <laughs> One thing I always wanted all my life was to be like him. Ever since I was a kid, I've been trying to prove to him that he's wrong. I'm a funny guy. Well, you've gotten lots of laughs around here. But I never made him laugh. I remember one time I found this great joke in a bubblegum wrapper. I saved it for just the right moment, Thanksgiving dinner. The whole family was there. Well, just before the pumpkin pie, I stood up and said, why does a fireman wear red suspenders? And Pop said to keep his pants up. He cut the legs right out from under him. <laughs> Took 15 years before I was able to tell that joke again. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite is, why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> Here I am, spilling out my guts to you, and you're telling chicken jokes. I'm sorry, Chief. Look, your father needs you. Why don't you forget the past? You know, begging to stay, tell him you love him. I can't. I, I never could. Why are you going upstairs? To get to the other side. <laughs> I don't get it. No, please. Don't turn off your hearing aid. I came to apologize. This whole mess was my idea. I know that. So if, uh, go, go ahead and call me a meddler. Oh, Nell, I would never call you a meddler. I would never call a jackass a jackass. <laughs> he knows he's a jackass. Are 
you trying to tell me something? Yes, you're a meddling jackass and you know it. Right. Well, as a meddling jackass to a doddering old goat, let's talk turkey. If you're, if you're here to try and stop my leaving, you're wasting your time. Oh, Grandpa, please, you don't want to go home to empty plates. It wasn't empty when I left it. Grandpapa, please stay with us. Why? Carl has his work. His daughters have their friends. You have the whole gaggle to entertain you. There is absolutely no reason for me to be here. I fulfill no function in this house. Oh, that's not true. Grandpapa... You are a very important part of our lives. You're great, Papa. Nell, you're a fine woman. Now buzz off. <laughs> All right. I'm finished. But I'll never sing it Polish again. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Kaninsky. Uh, oh, Joey. Say, come here, Joey. Would you sit on this suitcase a minute? That's my boy. Are you really leaving, Mr. Kaninsky? Yep. Can I have your room? You don't beat around the bush, do you? <laughs> well, I hate sleeping in the cheese room. He turns a dumb electric blanket up, and I get all sweaty. Well, I'd hate that, too. I wish we had bunk beds. <laughs> bunk beds? You know... When I was your age, I had a bunk bed. You know, when you lie in the top bunk, you feel almost like a king. If I had the top bunk, I'd always be dropping things on the other guy's head. That's lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, but when you're in the lower bunk, you get to kick the other guy in the tush. <laughs> Ooh, I never thought of that. You can get off the bag now. Do you know the chief won't even let me eat ice cream in bed? not let you eat ice cream in bed? Well, I think that stinks. There is nothing like being in the sack with a quart of Rocky Road and a monster film on the TV. <laughs> Only you mustn't be alone. Gotta be someone to say, boo, in the scary part. Yeah, besides, sometimes when I watch alone, I get bad dreams. Yeah, I've had my share of them lately. But say, how about... Pistachio nuts. You like pistachio nuts? Oh, sure. But fig newtons are better. Fig newtons. Now there's heaven on earth. Fig newtons and King Kong. Fig newtons and Frankenstein. Fig newtons and ice cream and Dracula. <laughs> that is the best one yet. Is it okay if I call you Grandpa? Even if you're not my real Grandpa. You know, you're the first person to ask me if they could do something before they did it. I got a better idea. Why don't you call me Stanley? All my best friends call me Stanley. Okay? Okay, Stanley. Uh, <laughs> but Chief, I please. can't do it now. I, 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 I know what you mean, but I, I just can't do it. Look, since your mama passed away, you're all he has. I can't say it. What if he laughs? Well, you never made him laugh before. <laughs> Come on, Chief, say it. Come on, practice on me. Say it to me. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Try it on goldfish. I can't say I love you to a fish. Chief, just say it. Get used to saying it. Try it. I love you, Pop. <laughs> See? The goldfish didn't laugh, and neither will your father. Now, you're telling you love him, then you hug him, and everything will be fine. You'll see. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Aunt Nell. Grandpapa, the chief has something to tell you. I've heard it all before. Not this. Maybe there is something wrong with this thing. Oh, Grandpapa, 
there is nothing wrong with your hearing aid. The chief just told you he loved you the only way he can. Ha! Huh. Oh, good Papa, please! He didn't even open my present. I love that thing. 6,000 miles. All right, all right, I'll open it. This picture was taken 70 years ago in Poland. <laughs> Uh, I thought you might like a picture of your father when he was 10 years old. Before he grew into a cantankerous old fool. I'm gonna hug you, Pop. What are you, crazy? I'm gonna hug you now. The hell you are. <laughs> this is it, my big moment to cry. Well, I, I'm gonna cry too. This ox is standing on my foot. <laughs> I love you, pup. Oh, God, the werewolf of London begins in five minutes. Oh, boy, last one up in bed is a rotten egg. What's going on? Well, if it's any of your business, my new roommate and I are going to watch an old horror movie on TV. Does this mean that you're moving in? Of course I'm moving in. And we're demanding bunk beds. <laughs> I'm coming. Keep your pants up. <laughs> That's why firemen wear red suspenders. <laughs> That's funny, Carl. <laughs> Nell, I made my father laugh. <laughs> That was a laugh, wasn't it? Yeah, of course it was a laugh. It was so big. I thought it was going to fall down the steps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I owe it all to you now. Thank you. Chief, I am so proud of you. I'm going to hug you now. Chief, that is not funny. <laughs> I'm going to hug you now. The hell you are. watching the same movie I am. Mind if I join you? <laughs> You're coming to the real spooky part now. Boo! <laughs> oh, stop clowning around. 